Alan Kay with Survival Dispatch. I want to talk to you today about the Wazoo Survival Belt. Uh, I'm a fan of wearable survival equipment. I like having things that are really a minimalist kind of approach so that I always have it on me. So most guys, they usually wear a belt every day. In addition to my wallet kit that I've talked about in several videos, I like the idea of having things in a belt. So I, I just have the belt actually, I haven't kitted this thing out yet. Um, the back of the buckle is a bottle opener, which is really important. You've got to stay hydrated and be able to get those uh, beer bottles open. So that's a good feature. It is, uh, it is in black with a matte gray buckle, so you would not be out of place wearing this, even in you know casual attire, business attire, hiking, unisex. I know some ladies that have these and have built kits out of them and, and they're happy with it. So Wazoo does sell a pre-made kit that will stock this belt, which I do not have an example of that to show you. My plan is to build my own kit, which I usually like to do. I, I choose my items piece by piece. But to show you the basic functionality of the belt, there are a couple of retention lanyards inside the belt. And here we have a ferro rod attached to that. So that's another way we can always have fire. And some, there, you know, there's some belts out there made by a few other companies that have a zipper, a hidden compartment on the inside. But the problem with that is it's really hard to access it while you're wearing it. And with the Velcro being on the top, you can actually access your kit without removing your belt from your pants, which I like. Lots of real estate in this thing. The Velcro pocket goes from here all the way around, just a few inches short of the buckle. And there's another lanyard on the far end here. So all of that real estate in there for your kit, water bags, water purification tablets, snare wire, button compass. Some people will even take like a little jump drive, flash drive, whatever you call it. I'm not a tech guy, but they have all their documents on there like passport, driver's license, birth certificate, important information like that. They'll keep a copy of that in here. Cash money, that's a survival tool. Put some of that in there. Ways to make fire, ways to purify water. Um, a, a wire saw would fit in there, just however you want to build the kit out. But I thought it's a really good concept, and for years I did carry a belt made by another company. A handcuff key even in the small of the back would not be a bad idea. Lock picks. Um, and the other belt that I had, the section was roughly this long and it had a zipper in it. And, and I managed to fit the kit in there good enough, but it was, it was super hard to get everything out while I was wearing the belt. And so this is a definite upgrade that I'm excited to see how much survival kit I can place in there. So I just wanted to uh, expose you to this as an option for carrying a minimum survival kit. And that's about it on that. I think it's self-explanatory. I think it's a solid piece of kit. I like Wazoo stuff. I've used it. I always wear the, the Bushcraft necklace. Uh, the, the more ways I have on me to make fire, the, the better I feel about it. So um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll see you next time.